Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to do a guide that a lot of you guys have been asking for. I've had a lot of people come into my stream and ask me, how do you get such high frame rates on your game? Um, and basically, I'm just going to tell you guys some methods. Um, personally, I use a few of these methods, but I don't use all of them. Because obviously, if you do have a really good computer, you can run a lot more stuff and, you know, get better frames. But if you have a lower end computer, or just a higher end computer and you're trying to hit like 240 hertz or something like that, anything like that, this video is for you. So I'm just going to get right into this, guys. Before I start the video, if you want, drop a subscription on my YouTube channel. Try to upload as much as I can. Um, if you want to toss my supporter creator code in your Fortnite item shop, it's free to you and it helps me out a ton. Um, the code is Teco. I'll show it up on screen right now. And uh, my Twitch link, um, I stream almost every day, is going to be in the description, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Anyway guys, enough about that, I'm going to get right into this. So the first thing you can do is lower your resolution on Fortnite. Now what this basically does is it keeps the same game, same like general like everything. It's not going to like stretch out your screen or anything. It just lowers the resolution so there will be less pixels on your screen for your computer to actually handle, which results in a higher frame rate. So um, all you got to do to do this is basically go to your settings in game. You'll see it basically right at the top. It'll say um, something like along the lines of display resolution or something like that. You can turn it down. Um, I think the default is 1920 by 1080. I may be wrong, but um, you can pick 1280 by 720, um, 1600 by 900, or 1920 by 1080. Um, obviously, the lower the numbers, the higher frames you'll potentially get. Um, but yeah, so the next step... Um, Obviously, this is kind of in the same range as lower resolution, is to actually stretch your resolution. Now what this does is it gives you a higher field of view in-game, which kind of... A lot of pro players use this method to actually not only get better frames to help improve their gameplay, though. Um, even if you're not interested in the help it gives with your gameplay, it does also lower your frames. Also, um, just note that you can't do lower resolution and this at the same time, obviously. Um, it results in a different resolution. Um, I'm gonna leave a little clip of me just setting it up right now. Um, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, it'll be a lot easier. I'm not sure how it works for like AMD or anything like that. All I know is that, um, yeah, um, you can do that. Um, so yeah, here's the clip. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's that clip, um, basically you just right click on your desktop, you change the resolution. It might be different for you guys who uh, don't have a really like Nvidia graphics card or whatever, but usually that's the case. So anyway, I'm going to get right into the next one. The fourth step, the third step, I'm sorry, is to lower your settings. So basically, I'm going to show a picture of my settings on screen, I potentially, or did I just say potentially? I mean, I personally use these just to, you know, lower my settings, just get good frame rates, make sure I'm always at the same frame rate, which is 144, I cap it at that. Um, you can lower your view distance, you can lower your textures, effects, anything like that. If you have these all on epic or really high or anything like that, you can lower them and it'll result in obviously more frames. So uh, yeah, pretty simple. Obviously you just go in your game, you just go to settings and you lower that stuff. So the final step is to stop your background apps. Now I know this kind of seems simple, but background applications such as Google Chrome, Discord, anything like that, anything along those lines can actually really lower the, com the computer's performance. Um, obviously, uh, it might, you know, obviously you'd think like, oh, if it's in the background, how does it affect frames? Well, actually, your GPU still processes things even if they're not directly on your screen. And also, it can take up your CPU, which obviously is still required to get good frames, you know. If I have a GPU and no CPU, it's not like I'm going to get good frames, you know. 
or not no CPU, but anyway guys, uh, that's about it for this video. I know it was a pretty short one, but uh, there's a few methods that you could possibly use. Obviously, once again, if you're interested, feel free to use my creator code in the item shop, it's Teco. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on those notifications. I'm gonna start actually trying to upload as much as I can on this channel. Um, hopefully I have another video out coming later tonight or tomorrow, and uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day, and uh, peace out.